Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division problems. Let's look at a power press that makes can tops. And these are the can tops over here. You notice these tabs. And did you ever think, when you look at a soda can, how it's made, the tooling, the extrusion of this? But we're going to show you on the video how can tops are made. I calculated that the power press stamps out 36,000 can tops in one hour. How many can tops can this power press stamp out in one minute? So it's 36,000 per hour. So we have to divide that by 60. There's 60 minutes in one hour. And the fast way both have a zero, so six goes into 36 times 6, so in one minute it could stamp out 600 can tops. And you can imagine there's millions of these can tops that are made. Now I want to also figure if it could stamp out 36,000 in one hour, in eight hours, times eight, let's figure how many it could stamp out. Zero. Zero, zero, eight times six is 48. Eight, 16, 24, 28. So in an eight hour day of that power press runs continuously, it could stamp out 288,000 can tops. And you can imagine how many soda can tops there are. An article in Forbes magazine wrote about how they drill for oil for nine months to a ship uses 360 degree rotating propellers, as you can see here, to hold itself steady in the 3,500 foot deep water as diamond tip bits drill and cut an oil well. Think about it, 6.5 miles down. It costs $70 million to drill that well. There's much research and development in well drilling. For this well, they use quartz transducers to measure temperature and pressure. They use gamma ray emitters to bounce atomic particles off the rock formations, as you should see in the bottom, to see the size, density, and flow of oil reservoirs. The information is bounced back to the ship by electromagnetic pulse or optical fiber. Now think about that. Down 6.5 miles down, the temperature is 450 degrees Fahrenheit and the pressure is 2,000 times the atmospheric pressure. Normal drill tools would melt or be crushed. To get an idea of the depth, let's compare 6.5 miles to the length of the number of football fields. So let's look at that. The depth is 6.5 miles, and one mile is 5,280 feet, and one football field that includes the end zones, is 120 yards. Now, we're dealing with feet, so we have to convert the 120 yards into feet, and 120 times 3 is 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, so this distance then is 360 feet, the length of one football field with the end zones. Now that goes 6.5 miles down, now think of that. From that ship all the way down, that drill bit goes down 6.5 miles. And get a little idea, how many football fields is that? So we're going to multiply 5,280 feet by 6.5 miles. Let's do that over here. 5,280 times 6.5. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 8 is 40, carry the 4, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26. 6 times 0 is 0, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16, 6 times 5 is 30, plus the 1, 31. So 
So 0, 0, 12. 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. That equals 4. 3. And don't forget there's a decimal point here, so we got to move that over here. So 6.5 miles down is 34,320 feet down from the bottom of that ship down to where that drill bit goes down into the earth. That's an enormous step. Now, how many football fields goes into 34,320 feet? Let me put feet over here because that's what this is. So let's do the math then. So it's 34,320 divided by 360. Remember a shortcut where you got zeros on both ends, you just can remove them on either end, the dividend and the divisor. So how many times does 36 go into 34 dozen? 36 goes into 343. It looks like it's nine times. There's 36 times nine. Nine times six is 54. Nine times three is 27 plus five is 32. 324. Let's bring over the nine over here. We can't take four from three, so we have to borrow from the four. So four from 13 is nine, two from three is one, bring down to two. How many 36s go into 192? It looks like it's five, so it's 36 times five. Five times six is 30. Five times three is 15, plus three is 18, so this would be 180. 0 from 2 is 2. 8 from 9 is 1. Bring down, we don't have any more, do we? So it's, it would, that would be 5. So if you can envision a 95 football fields from the bottom of that ship down to where that drill bit is into that gulf floor. But you know, I want you to be aware of technologies. There's a tremendous amount of science and engineering that goes into oil field work. And as I told you earlier, while well, company does a lot of that kind of work, not only do they go straight down and drill down here, but they have now technology that they can do directional drilling. They do what they know as horizontal drilling. And as it's drilled, they're looking for oil. If the oil is over here, they, they direct the, the drill to go where the oil is. And they send sensors up there and they read that data. You, could you imagine the technology, the computers, the, the science, the math, the chemistry that goes into oil field drilling? But that's the technology that's out there. So this gives you a little idea of what's happening in the world of technology. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.